Traditionally, I like trying to find someone who has a real problem and helping them solve it, but this is something that I've just wanted always. I mean, I've always kind of built stuff, but I guess the lamps were the first physical things that I did. And it was the first um, thing that I ever kind of looked into as like a small business. Mm -hmm. It was a really good exercise in figuring out like, where do I source my materials? Where am I gonna sell this? What do people actually want? And I think our department is more focused on design for human needs, mm -hmm. like a lot of the other projects that I have. Um, I think that's kind of more of a, a noble cause to use your design skills. And I think to be a good designer, you have to have a great deal of empathy for people. And that's something that I also um, think is just kind of innate in me that I, that I don't see in certain other designers. And it kind of depends on where you're going. I think that there's a big design boom in San Francisco and in general right now. And um, I'm hoping that there's room for everyone. Um, our students are charged very early on to actually create things. Um, we give them a technical problem, um, just like a physics student gets a problem, but it's up to them to come up with the solution. There often is no pre-established solution. It can be really tough um, paying like a thousand or two thousand dollars a month for rent um, while you're trying to strap a business on a shoestring. So in some ways it might be better to go home and try to develop things there so the students have to make that choice. You never know if your idea is going to be successful. Chances are it's not going to be successful. Thomas Edison, the most prolific inventor in US history, his first invention was not successful. So your first idea might be successful, but it might not. So work on building the relationships. Um, build your networks out. That's very, very important.